It took us a couple of years to find this property. We looked steadily for two years just about every weekend. We knew we wanted to be between Pilot Mountain and the northeast corner of Surrey County in Virginia. Um, we happened to find this property through a student of mine when I was teaching weaving down in Winston-Salem. Uh, one of my students said that her uncle had a bunch of property in Westfield that he had for sale. Maybe he'd think about selling us something. And I said, well, that sounds terrific. We'd love to look at it. As soon as I looked at it, I loved it. It had everything we were looking for. And Bill looked at it. He liked it. And here we are 30-some years later. We bought the first piece of property in 1986. It was a 32-acre track. We did not think we were going to be farmers. We did love living in the country. We lived in Pilot Mountain, and we wanted to raise our kids out in the country. We wanted to show them we were going to try to grow some of our food, which we thought that would be a great thing. But we didn't have any idea what the future held for us. Sharing it with the youth and adults both as a preserve has been a wonderful surprise for us. It was something else that was not planned when we bought this property back in 86. Bill was a chef for numerous years. Bill started growing produce behind his restaurant, the Cumberland Cafe, and then we started realizing nobody was growing local produce for restaurants, and we thought this is something we should look at. Not only that, we were buying lettuce blend from California, so we would have to go over to the airport in Greensboro to pick up our lettuce and take it to the restaurant. And Twice I thought, a week. You know, we can grow this in North Carolina. So, you know, as Margie said, we started growing it behind the restaurant, and people took notice of that. And they took notice that the, the lettuce they were getting was fresh. It was picked that morning. And a lot of people have never eaten lettuce that was picked the same day. So it was a revelation to us and our customers. I kind of saw this as an opportunity that a lot of restaurants were underserved. There was no farmers bringing fresh produce to them. And uh, I just saw a niche maybe that we could fill. And uh, that's how it happened. When we grew up, we had the fortune to be able to roam in the woods at will. It was a process of self-discovery, and when you learn things on your own, you tend to remember it, and you make that relationship and connections. We were allowed to do that. We were allowed to run free, and nowadays we all know there's many circumstances where you, you just can't let your kids do that anymore, and I think the kids are suffering because of it. They're, they have an innate sense that they need to belong to nature and it's something bigger than them and they're part of it but they see a disconnect they're they're being disconnected from it either by screens or whatever but we feel like all the things we enjoyed they're not and so we we're trying to provide that that little spark that, that we all enjoyed and we found ourselves um, we want these kids to enjoy that same thing and then maybe to have a lifetime of enjoyment with nature and the outdoors and um, stewardship of the land Years ago, when our children were in the school system up here, we as young farmers went into their classrooms and spoke about edible flowers, Asian greens, the kind of strange vegetables we were growing at the time. And then a few years later, we'd be at the grocery store or around town, and these kids would come up to us and say, Mr. Hamas or Mrs. Hamas, I remember when you came to speak to us about edible flowers. And Bill and I realized we were sparking those kids. They were remembering, we were making an impression upon them and we started to evolve the idea of possibly turning this into a preserve and a learning center. And one of the main surprises to me is that kids will try anything that you show them. And being organic, we don't spray anything, so they can just pick this stuff off of the, of the plants and eat it. And um, where adults are a little bit uh, different in that they are not so used to trying new things, kids will try anything and to see the faces that they make when they're tasting new things that they've never tasted before, and sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's really fun. Yeah. Or the parent will be here with them and they'll say they never eat that at home, yeah. but yet they're here Get on the outside. farm and they will eat it. I think we're at the beginning of our journey and uh, we can both see that this has become bigger than us. The future is, is bright for us. We feel like this is going to be here many, many years after we're gone. Our kids are interested in, in doing what we've started. Um, there's been a lot of interest in the community, which is very rewarding for us. It's a validation of sorts for us because we really are doing things quite different than the norm in this area for farming. Um, but they've been very open-minded and it's been reassuring for us that we're on the right track and this is very worthwhile.